Hey y'all, what is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Monkey Mark here, and I'm back to do a review and unboxing, but also to know what the heck is in this here item that was in another item. Huh. Oh, directly from another source. Huh. Huh. And it came in this thing, which I had to open it. Huh. What did I order exactly? Hmm, that's a very big mystery there. Anyways, let's cut to the chit chat. Head to the man cave, like right now. Let's go, let's go. Stop fooling around, let's go. Alrighty, so unfortunately, there's not much to look at this particular watch, except you can see a full body of this particular one. Uh, seen better days though, says Las Vegas Stardust. So yeah, this is what it is. Not much to look at, but here it is. This is one of this is the digital watch version, and let's see here. Here's one. Unfortunately, that's quartz. Unfortunately, this is one of its predecessors of it all. Mm -hmm. And what? The, let's take a look at the history of this casino. That's why it was uh, of what happened to it. This used to be a resort and casino, Stardust. Opened on July 2nd, 1958. Closing date, November 1st, 2006. Theme, outer space. One th number of rooms, 1,065 in 1958, and then the final years, 1,552. Um, uh, rooms in that final year and uh, this is where it used to be located around the Las Vegas Strip and in Nevada and it was indeed having and the owner of it was called Boyd um, Gaming Corp known as Boyd Gaming for gaming and hospitalities and other things and paradise in Nevada, 25,000 employees as of last year, and it's made over a lot of money in the past many years of its assets for four billion and six eighty-five. Yeah. And wow, it is pretty growing over the last many years. And apparently, they were part. Boyd was part uh, partnered with FanDuel, which is of course gambling and other things. Oof. And it was originated in 2009, around the time I was like done with high school. And it, and of course the theme of it was star, I mean, outer space theme. This is how it looked like back then. Here in some, between 1960s, the first picture you saw was in the early 60s. Here was between 1968 and 1977. Here it is, 32-story tower, sometime in the 90s, or the final years. Hold up. The later years, and then by 07, and used to be the interiors for the demolition. I mean, it was a great casino in place. Here's the fireworks, short uh, fireworks show before the implosion. Bummer, isn't it? It was indeed a great place to have fun, including you do see the letterings of the of the Stardust logo at the Neon Museum. It's a picture of it from 2013. Then let's see it closely. This is how it looks. And here it is featuring White Wing Newton, the, the signings of course. It was a great casino at its time. It made an appearance on on-screen television shows and films and other projects over the many years to come. Hmm. Now let's see if there's anything that we're wronged because heck, keep looking at it. All you get is this particular watch. That's all. Hmm. I knew when you write it a different name. 
You still could not find anything about this particular brand, huh? And, oh, what do you know? Here's a better view of it. And they have a lot of items from Stardust. The hotel casino. Wow, wow, wow. Here's a new and old stock one. Ah, oh, that got recently sold, and huh, too bad you can't see any pictures. Nah, you can't. Oh, here it is. But fortunately, you only got the body of it. Huh. Well, you, I mean, apparently the battery is dead, but this is how it, how it looks. So take a look at it very carefully, folks, because this is what you're about to see. Even though the package had seen its better days, much better days. Yeah. So this is how it's going to look like. Huh. Well, I'll be down. It was circa between 1980 to 1989. Son of a gun. And it did say mid-70s. Somewhere between 70s and early 80s, but it looks like there's something a little more that it may have been in fact from the late 70s and on to the early 80s or the late 80s. So, yeah. So, with that, it's an 80s piece back when Stardust was a big thing at its time, and among other things. With that, let's take a look at the timepiece of the Stardust. Las Vegas Digital Watch. Like right now. Let's take a look at it. Let's go. So, folks, here it is. Even though the box, uh, the package had seen its better days, but let's take a look how this previous owner did took care of this watch. Hmm. Not much to look at this one, not as a slim, as a quartz slim watch, if I'm not mistaken correctly. Look at the back part. Quartz slim watches. Whatever. So here's the S1 and S2 time operation, the normal. Press S. Once. Month and date automatically returns to normal. Press S one twice for the second. Press S once again to return to the normal display. Time setting. Press S, press S two once display alternating alternating time and date. Press S two twice was the month. Then depress S one to set. Hmm. All instructions right here. Ooh. Pause it carefully, y'all. Hmm. Even though this is not a knockoff, let's be clear. Let's take it. Let's take it out of this package. Heck, let's take a look. With that, let's play a little music like, to represent. But before that, let's uh, show the accoutrements that comes in this year. Um, watch. Huh, it's kind of difficult to come out of this damn packaging. Dang, yo. What's it trying to do? <clears throat> Be tougher? Okie dokie. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it with your eyes. The witnessing of this year. Peace. Hmm. Hmm. Still very cool after all these years. Oh, this is from Vegas. Heck. Very cool. No indications of any, um, uh, of any batterings or anything or a module indications, but the band's very leathery. Very cool. Mm hmm. Slim. Lying flat on the table. Nothing on the buckle. And it is indeed a very thick one. Oof. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, man.
Mm-hmm. Whoa, you guys see that? Okay. That's a micro light. So yeah. Well, this was in the early days. This did not came out. Estimated came out between the seventies and early eighties. This was definitely the early eighties piece. And I believe Stardust gave these to customers or they had it in their gift shops. I just don't know if they did or did not, but Stardust was indeed a good, um, <clears throat> what's the word? A good a good place for collectors, I mean, for, for gift shops. And I highly doubt this is one of these gifts because let's be clear, I'm a 90s baby. I know a little bit around the digital watch world and... Hmm, let's see if I am in the right time. Oh, few seconds. How do you even adjust this thing? You have to, like, to alternate the time and everything. Huh. Hmm. Second one lights up. Huh. Not much to go on. And with that, let's play a little music for, to represent this piece. All right? I'm going to pick something from 1983, which will which will fit perfect. All right? How about, let me just put it back in its packaging. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And I'll zoom, I'll zoom, zoom. Called um, from the artist Wire Train with I'll Do You.
So y'all, did you enjoy the vid? I'm pretty sure you have. So yeah, this is a piece that will never be around anymore. Hmm. Even those who have it pre-owned, even those who kept it in the packaging, good job for that. Like it's one hell of a timepiece from way back, even back when um what's the word for it? This back when Stardust Las Vegas Casino was big business. Um back then and hmm, it's not around anymore. But still it holds a legacy in the world of casinos and gaming. Heck, I don't know other casinos in Vegas or anywhere. We even have a digital watch for anyone to sell at their gift shops. I don't know how to adjust. So yeah, also I'll leave you the link in the description box down below for the, um, uh, for the uh, angry video game nerd, James Rolfe's link for the um, pre-ordering of his video game. It's gonna be in the link in the description box down below. And if anybody's interested in subscribing to that dude's channel, I'll leave you the link as well. And uh, wow, it's been a great day today. And tomorrow's Sunday, I'm going to go for Black Sunday shopping to get whatever there is. Then I got to get something from, and I got to do for my Secret Santa, I got to get something, which I already got a Secret Santa. Uh, for that, uh, the further someone in my family I'm going to be getting. So, yeah. anyways, thanks for being in the description box down below. And among other things, happy Black Weekend. Take care. God bless you. Catch you on the next vid.